it's mind-boggling to think that it can happen that fast, like 60 days, gone. Troubled days for the residents of the 37 occupied units of the Featherston Mobile Home Park just on the outskirts of Kempville. They discovered on Tuesday notices on the doors of their units telling them that they have 30 days for the would-be ownership of the park to come up with $750,000 to pay for the defunct septic system on the property. After those 30 days, if nothing was done, the residents have been given 60 days to get out. Uh, just in front of me there, uh, there's a young couple that just bought that unit uh, last year and they have a mortgage. So now, and they can't move their units, so that means I, I'm hearing people are going to go bankrupt right now. They just want to declare bankruptcy because uh, there's no way they'll uh, be able to afford it. The old, out-of-date septic system at the park has problems, including blockages and other problems that keep it from being up to code. It'll cost $750,000 to fix it. The municipality says it simply hasn't got the money. Maurice says they knew about the septic issues 10 years ago. The complicated process involves the fact that the owner of the park declared bankruptcy and then passed away. And then this whole property was transferred to a trustee. The long and the short of it is that several of the residents here, probably almost 10 of them, have mortgages that they cannot walk away from, even though they're gonna be forced, it looks like, to walk away from their properties. I feel sorry for the old age people. We have quite a few old, older people in the park that are living on a small pension. Their mobiles are paid for. They just have to pay their, their park fees. And uh, where are they gonna go? Residents are planning on having a meeting here amongst themselves in the coming days and there's going to be a larger meeting taking place a week from tomorrow and next Thursday at the municipal offices to try to see if there is any idea about how they can not lose their homes. Near Kempfield, Doug Hampstead for Sun News.